What's going on guys, CB Bricks coming at you with part one of stop motion making. Today we're going to be taking a look at um, a very core concept in stop motion making especially. And this is uh, trying to make realistic looking lightsaber bolt or lightsabers and blaster bolts. Um, so today I'm just going to walk you through the easiest method that I figured out um, on how to do this just to make it more or to make it quicker because that's all about stop that's all stop motion is really you're trying to make as much as you can as quickly as possible because you don't want to spend too much time editing photos but regardless this is what I'm going to show you so today I have a picture of a character from my most recent stop motion and I'm going to try to make his lightsaber purple and this is the most simple way you guys could ever think about and actually I do want to give a quick sh shout out to uh, Joshy Binge he actually did a uh, tutorial on how to make lightsabers but that was for it was a more difficult to make it look better for maybe just standalone pictures as opposed to stop motions because it might be difficult so go check that out if you want to but right here I'm gonna try to make it quick so here all we're gonna do as you can see we have some color options we're just gonna switch the black to purple we're gonna have a primary and a secondary color so now we're gonna select the paintbrush double click it for options and we're gonna select I think I want to use the smallest one. I don't know what you call it, but I'm going to use this one. Okay. And we're going to select the size. Now, the primary color, I'm going to use probably 200 for this. Size 200. Just like this. And all you have to do is uh, color the lightsaber. So you want to kind of click in the middle towards the bottom. Hold shift to make a straight line and click towards the top. And just like that, you have uh, your primary color. Now you just want to click that to switch. And I would suggest to do the secondary to primary color ratio to be about a 4 to 5. So I'm going to put this at 160. Uh, just like this, a 4 to 5 ratio. And do the same process. Just like that, you have a lightsaber. And um, it's really useful for making quick and easy lightsabers so that uh, it's pretty cool so that's pretty much it for the lightsaber now blaster bolts are pretty much the same way that you would do it with lightsabers so um, down here quickly I'm gonna switch this color to red because that's the blaster color I want and switch this down to probably 140 and I'm just gonna quickly figure out uh, whoops, we're going to start off with the red. Sometimes the hardest part about blaster bolts is eyeballing it where you want to put it. Uh, so just like that, straight line. Then you want to switch it to your secondary color. And just do the same thing. And just like that, you have a blaster bolt, guys, and it was so easy to do. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for blaster bolts. Now I'm going to show you some examples of both the lightsaber and the blaster bolt at work. So first we're going to start with the lightsaber. As you can see, that was a pretty cool little spin that he did with his lightsaber. Uh, this probably took me less than three minutes to do, to edit all these pictures, so you can really see how quick it actually is. Uh, now we're going to take a look at the blaster fire by Captain Phasma. And look how... Look how cool that looks. Put some sound effects in there and that will look amazing. But uh, this one probably was way easier because I only took a couple pictures. I had to edit um, probably less than a minute, two minutes maybe. So you can really see how easy these are. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you can use these and apply them to your own stop motions and maybe just normal pictures. So thanks for watching guys. Thank you.